Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. Welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about the big news to me personally and also to the Tesla world charging. The, v, the supercharger V3 is being announced and being acted as of Wednesday, yesterday. And it's going to be uh, another game changer. Uh, let, let's go quickly uh, over the numbers. I'm just going to read to you quickly, very quickly, from the uh, Tesla update notes uh, that they sent. Um, uh, the Model 3 is now um, able to charge on the V3 supercharger at a rate of 250 kilowatt peak uh, in supercharger stations with V3 hardware. Uh, are designed to enable any owner to charge at the full power um, their battery uh, the battery can take no more splitting powers so that is the most important news no more splitting powers uh, I did a lot of it uh, uh, supercharging traveling and when you come to a station if it's all full and you are next to somebody if he is first and you second you split he gets more than you so it's a split power now it's a dedicated power 250 uh, kilowatt uh, jolt that gives you a range of a thousand miles per hour obviously you're not uh, gonna do that for a whole hour no Tesla has a thousand miles uh, range but the first 10 or 15 minutes which are the most crucial time for a uh, supercharging are going to give you about 75 miles 75 miles in about 10 minutes that is awesome and also if you use the Tesla trip planner uh, when you when you go on a trip uh, it's going to condition your battery uh, to uh, accept this uh, amount of electricity in such short time and the cable itself is going to be liquid cooled which is going to enable it now the whole station is going to be powered by like a uh, one megabyte uh, of um, uh, megawatt not megabyte one megawatt of power uh, and uh, it's going to be uh, first uh, installed in thousands of new superchargers in Q2 and Q3 in the United States and later on in Europe and Asia. So what it's going to do, it's going to accommodate the tens of thousands, soon it's going to be hundreds of thousands of Tesla Model 3 that is coming into the market. There are uh, about over 150,000 in the United States alone. And also with the Model Y coming in a couple of years in, in, uh, in big quantities, it's going to uh, cut the charge time by half. Now I tell you as a long distance traveler, this is a big deal because sometimes you come to a full station and you have to wait and it takes a long time. Now your time is going to be cut by 50%. So the, the cars that are going to benefit uh, most are going to be the Model 3s. Yay me, I'm so happy. Uh, but a hardware, uh, I mean, a software update is going to be sent to Model S and Model X. And that's going to help out in accommodating all the uh, new Tesla. So now Tesla that already had the advantage of uh, having a supercharger network just for Tesla cars, now is going to double and quadruple down on everybody else not only because they have the supercharger, but it's going to be so much faster. The Tesla supercharger version 2 now gives you the max of 120. Now, I've been in many of them. I usually get 110 for the first uh, 10 minutes or so, which gave you an average of 500 miles an hour. Uh, in real world, gave you 50, 60 miles, 70 miles uh, at the first 5 to 10 minutes, and then you'll be done by you know, 20 to 45, 50 minutes. Now it can be cut by half because depending on how much charge you uh, you have when you come in, uh, it's going to determine how long you have to stay. And most of the time, the supercharging is basically up to 80%. So this is truly a game changer. It's not going to affect anybody right now, but as they are going to be built and going to be upgraded, now V2 is also going to be upgraded. There's going to be more power released to them. So this whole thing, this whole operation of fast, and super superchargers, I call them, are going to continue to give uh, Tesla owners and Tesla and Tesla uh, superchargers such an edge, such an advantage, and I hope that others will follow. So these are the main numbers: 250 kilowatt of jolt, 1,000 miles per hour, 75 miles in 70 in, in 10 minutes, 
and basically cutting the supercharging experience uh, by half, half of the time. So that is awesome. That is amazing. Okay, guys, that's, that's it for now. See you tomorrow.